hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation finding the value of x and y given that x is not equal to y solution from here let's label this as equation one and this as equation two and the first step here subtract equation two from one that is equation one minus equation two then from what we have in equation one left hand side that's x squared minus y then minus left hand side of equation 2 that's now into bracket y squared minus x then close bracket equals to on the right hand side we have 73 minus 73 that give us 0 there then next step we open this bracket and what we have becomes x squared minus y then minus y square plus x then equals to zero from here let's bring the squares together that is we have x square minus y square then we have plus x minus y equals to zero here and from here we have difference of two squares which you can write as x plus y into brackets then open brackets x minus y then plus here also we can put this in bracket as x minus y then equals to zero here then here we have x minus y comma we factor it out as x minus y then into brackets here we are left with x plus y then here we are left with plus 1, close bracket, equals to 0 here. That is, from here we have two possible cases, x minus y equals to 0, or we have x plus y plus 1 equals to 0. From here we have x equals to y. And we've already established that x is not equals to y. Then from this side, you can take 1 to the other side, we call minus, that's x plus y equals to minus 1. Let's call this equation 3 from here. Then next step, also from here, we had equation 1 and equation 2, that's equation 1 plus 2. And on the left hand side of equation 1, we have x square minus y then plus the left hand side of equation 2 we have y square minus x then equals to 73 plus 73 gives us 146 and here let's bring the squares together as well so we have x square plus y square then we have minus x minus y equals to 146 here then from here we can factor minus here and we have this as x square plus y square minus into bracket x plus y now then equals to 146 then next step here from equation 3, we have x plus y to be minus 1. So here, we can replace this here as minus 1. And we have x square plus y square minus, then times minus 1 equals to 46 here. That is minus times minus become plus. So this becomes x square plus y square plus 1 equals to 46 on this side. Also taking one here become minus and therefore this is 146. Here we have x square plus y square equals to 146 minus 1 become 145. And let's label this as equation 4 here. Then next term recall from equation 3 that we have x plus y equals to minus 1. And here, 
let's square both sides of this equation 3. We square this side. Also, we square this side. Then from here, the expansion here give us x square plus y square plus 2xy then equals to minus 1 square become 1. And from here, in equation 4, we have x squared plus y squared to be 145, which implies here we substitute this as 145, then plus 2xy equals to 1 here. And taking 145 here to this side become minus. That is 2xy is now equals to 1 minus 145, which implies 2xy is equals to minus 144. Let's divide this as equation 5. Then, now, to find x minus y from this identity, when we have x minus y all squared, the expansion here gives us x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. Then it implies that x minus y all squared here will then be equal to x squared plus y squared from equation 4, that's 1 around 45. Then minus 2xy from equation 5, we have minus 144. Then when we multiply minus times minus become plus. So here we have x minus y all squared is now equals to 145 plus 144. That is we have x minus y all squared then equals to 289 then to find x minus y we take the square root on both sides that is square root on this side also square root on this side square cancel square root here we are left with x minus y which is equals to plus or minus square root of 289 and here we have x minus y equals to plus or minus 17. Now the two cases here we have x minus y equals to 17 or we have x minus y equals to minus 17. Now let's solve this together with equation 3 and from equation 3 we have x plus y equals to minus 1. Also we put it here x plus y equals to minus 1. When we solve these two equations simultaneously, we can eliminate by adding. So when we add, we eliminate y. So this becomes 2x then equals to 17 plus minus 1, that's 16. Then divide both sides by 2 here. We have x equals to 8. And since x equals to 8, we can get the value of y from equation 3 as well. Yeah. When we make y the subject, so y will now be equal to minus 1 minus x. That means, yeah, if this is x1, then y1 will then be equal to minus 1 minus x here, yeah, that's 8, which becomes y1 equals to minus 9. And the first set of solution x1 comma y1 is now equals to x1 which is 8 comma y1 that's minus 9. Then solving this side also simultaneously you can also add and eliminate y and this becomes 2x then equals to minus 17 plus minus 1 that's minus 18 and divide both sides by Two here we have x to be equals to minus nine. Then also from equation three we use this relation to get the value of y. So if this is x two, y two now equals to minus one minus 
x which is minus 9 that this y2 is now equals to minus 1 plus 9 that this y2 here equals to 8 and also the second set of solution x2 comma y2 is now equals to x2 minus 9 then comma y2 8 when we look at this solution here, we discover that the values here are interchange. The x here is the y here. The y here is the x here. Now, it means that the solution to this problem, we have 8 and minus 9. Now, we can run a check for this. And what we have here in equation 1, when we substitute the value of x and y, this we have x comma y here to be equals to 8 comma minus 9 so when we use this from here in equation 1 equation 1 becomes 8 square minus y which is minus 9 is it equals to 73 on this side as this 8 square here we have 64 then minus 10 is minus that's plus 9 is equals to 73 on this side and from here 64 plus 9 of course this is 73 which is equals to 73 on this side left hand side equals to right hand side and also from equation 2 we also substitute the value of x and y here we have y squared which is minus 9 squared then minus x which is 8 is equal to 73 here a minus 9 square that's t plus 81 then minus 8 is it equal to 73 on this side and of course 81 minus 8 here is 73 which is equal to 73 here left hand side equals to right hand side and hence this solution here satisfy these two given equations and thank you for watching us here at master t math class don't forget these tips subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell and share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now